This video is about the addition of water to aldehydes and ketones. As we know, carbonyls are electrophiles. The carbon is partially positive and oxygen in water has lone pairs. So it makes sense that water could act as a nucleophile. Well, water can add, giving us the hydrated alkoxide product, which looks as such. course it's still neutral because we started with neutral species and there is a proton shift to give us a diol that is a geminal this is called a hydrate this is not a particularly useful reaction as it's all in an equilibrium but it can cause variations in reactivity of carbonyls in presence of water i.e. If there's water present in the reaction, you might not get the reaction you're expecting because the carbonyl is being hindered by forming the hydrate as opposed to being the carbonyl that you would expect it to be. If the R group makes carbon more electrophilic, the amount of hydrate present increases, i.e. you need to pay close attention to things with strongly electron withdrawing uh, groups close to a carbonyl. In those cases, the hydrates will increase. We're going to now look at some equilibria of different aldehydes and ketones and how much they form the hydrate in the presence of water. The first example is formaldehyde, which has an equilibrium constant of 2 times 10 to the 3. Uh, this is relatively high and it's because there is nothing providing electron density to the carbon. Therefore, it remains pretty electrophilic. If we look at something like ethanol, which has now a methyl group that is able to increase the electron density on that carbon of the carbonyl, the equilibrium constant decreases drastically to just 1.3, meaning that there is a lot less hydrate present. In the case of acetone, you have two methyl groups that are increasing the electron density on the carbon, and therefore we notice that the equilibrium constant is 2 times 10 to the negative 3, which is implying that there's very little hydrate present. If we then start adding more electron withdrawing groups onto the methyl group, such as here at chlorine, um, the electrons start being pulled away from that carbon of the carbonyl, causing uh, increased partial positive charge on the carbon and therefore making it more electrophilic again which can be seen by the increase in the equilibrium constant. If we go even further and take say trichloroacetone um, those are three inductively electron withdrawing groups attached to that carbonyl which will of course now uh, increase the amount of hydrate present because the carbon is becoming even more electrophilic. Now these are the cases where you have to pay attention to this reaction because if you were to do a reaction with uh, alpha 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 trichloroacetone you should not expect to be seeing reactions of the carbonyl you should be seeing reactions of a diol. Not that you can't just favor the conditions to not have water present at which point you will of course be able to react with the carbonyl.